Hello, and welcome to Trigonometry. My name is Gregory Moses. I am your professor for this course. This is what we at Chadron State call a blended course, meaning that some of you I will have in my classroom, but other students in this class are purely online. And for the purely online students, I wanted to take a moment to um, look at Canvas, our course management system, and make sure we know how to find everything that we need to find. So here's where we are now. You see navigation is done using these tabs over here. A lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. You know, announcements takes you to our announcements. Grades takes you to the grade book. Syllabus takes you to the syllabus. Um, the place you're going to be spending most of your time in this class is the modules. So every week, New learning material and new assignments will open up. So this first week, I'm planning to cover one section of the textbook, section 7.1. We'll accelerate a little once we get into the swing of things. But let's look at section 7.1, you see I've divided this section into subsections. So each of these is hopefully a manageable bite-sized piece. Um, we'll, let's click one of these, section 7.1 arc length. You'll be taken to a new page, and that new page will contain two things for you. It will first contain part of the textbook section for you to read. Our textbook is OER, that is to say it's free and online, and I've taken it and chopped it into little pieces and dropped each piece where it needs to be. So here in the arc length section, you'll find the determining the length of an arc part of the textbook. Then you scroll down a little and you'll find a video that I've recorded on the subject. So you can do your, um, you are expected to read the textbook section. Um, there will be, you know, examples and stuff that we don't have time to get into in the videos. But between the textbook section and the video, I hope you will find all of the learning material that you need. And then, let me see, modules. Once you've gone through each of these bite-sized pieces, um, you will be ready to do the homework assignment. So you click section 7.1 and you get, okay, let's try that again. Now, when you press section 7.1 textbook assignment, you'll get taken to the textbook assignment. It's kind of lengthy, as you can see. The compensation is that we're rarely going to be covering more than two sections a week. A lot of weeks will just be covering one section. So it's a kind of lengthy assignment, but you won't have a bunch of assignments every week. Um, I. The, the assumption is that you'll be doing these assignments, pen and paper. 
upload them to your computer, and then to upload them to Canvas, you'll just drag and drop. If you have multiple things you need to upload, you can uh, drag and drop multiple things. And when you've uploaded the entire assignment, you just click Submit Assignment. And I believe with that, you are ready to begin. Again, some of you I'll be seeing Monday at one o'clock, but for the online students, your next step will be the syllabus page. I'll ask you to read the syllabus, and then you can click on modules and dive right into the learning material. If you ever need help, or if you ever have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I hope you all have an enjoyable and productive semester.